walk around through there? There it is. Can nah. I walk around through there? I mean, you gotta pay to get in, can I? Oh, yeah, if you pay to get in. Yeah, I didn't know what, you know. I mean, I didn't know if it was free. It used to be free, didn't it? The Jubilee? It used to be free. Yeah. yeah I Did they just start it? Uh, I think it lasted a couple years ago. I got you. Yeah, yeah so um, let me ask you this. What's the, uh, you know, if I decide to use a little bit of amplification and not blow it out, is that fine? I don't know. In yeah, the I'm ordinances? Sure. I mean, I've checked it out a little bit, but... Okay. Okay. I, I doubt somebody's over here. All right. Thing. Thank you. God bless you guys. Be safe, okay? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way. He's the truth. He's the life. There is no other way to the Father but through Jesus Christ. You need to turn to Jesus Christ today, people. I'm out here because I care about you. I love you. Jesus loved you more than I could. He died on a cross for your sins. But you cannot continue in sin. You get to realize your sins separate you from God. Therefore, that makes you an enemy of God. But see, God's so merciful. God wants you to receive his mercy. But see, if you're sinning willfully every day, if you just think, hey, I can't stop sinning, then your faith isn't in the true God. Jesus healed people and Jesus told them to go and sin no more. Jesus is not going to tell you to do something that you're not able to do. But you can't do it in the flesh. You can't do it on your own. You can only do it through the power of the Holy Spirit of God. And when the Spirit of God comes upon you, it gives you power to be a witness. See, I'm being a witness for God. I'm an ambassador for Christ. As if God were pleading through me, imploring you, on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God today. But see, the Bible also gives a warning, people. I'm out here to warn you. Because if, you're, if you die in your sin, you're going to go into the lake of fire. I do not want you to go into the lake of fire. Most of all, God does not want you to perish. God says in his word that he is not willing for any to perish, but that all would come to repentance. You need to come to repentance today you need to turn from your wickedness. You need to uh, look to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Confess your sin. He is faithful and just to forgive you of your sin. Yes. You need to move down. We can't hear in here to take money from people. Outside. Okay, I can turn okay. it down. Is that okay? Because yeah. I want to be where the people are. I can, I can turn it down. Did you get a permit? Did you get uh, a permit? No, sir. I don't need one. The Constitution gives me a permit to be here. Okay. I don't go around with you. Sir, I mean, I, I respect you, sir. I, is that fine, sir? With you? As I was saying, people of Jesus, Jesus is the way. If you have not the Son of God, you have not life. But see, the wrath of God abides upon you because of your sin, because of your rebellion. You've rebelled against God. You must turn. The Bible says turn and live. You can turn from your drunkenness. You can turn from your idolatry. It could be sports. It could be video games. It could be drugs. Anyone smoking marijuana, doing cocaine, getting drunk, are on their way to hell. The Bible says in Corinthians, it says, do not be deceived. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Neither fornicator, nor idolater, nor adulterer, nor homosexual, nor sodomite, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor extortioner, nor reviler, will inherit the kingdom of God. You must be one of them formerly in the past. You must be born again by the Spirit of God. If you have not the Spirit of God, or you have not the Spirit of Christ, you are not His. You need to receive this Spirit, the Holy Spirit. It's the one that fills me. It's the one that compels me to come out here. It gives me power to be a light. So I'm out here to make myself a spectacle for Christ because Jesus Christ is the way.
There is no other way. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to a man, but in the end, it brings forth death. You're gonna die. You don't know who's gonna die. Hundreds of thousands of people die every day. You could be the one that's gonna die today and take your last breath. Would you please consider your life, consider uh, if there's sin, if you're practicing sin, if you're practicing drunkenness, fornicating, you're looking at pornography, all those things condemn you. The Bible says they profess to know God, but by works they deny him being abominable, disobedient, and disqualified from every good work. I want you to find the way. Jesus said, let your light so shine among men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. See, my Father's in heaven. He's the one who fills me, anoints me with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Spirit to come out here to be made a spectacle for you, to be willing to lay down my life, to be, be willing for you to hate me. But see, truly you hate God first. It's not that you hate me, it's because you hate who I'm representing, Jesus Christ. 